I represent the third of January decode challenge. The problem that we have in today is delete columns to make them sorted. This question is an easy level question based on the concept of strings and I know most of my subscribers rather all of them would be able to solve this question by themselves. For those who are new, this solution is for them. Here in this question you are given an array of strings and all the strings are of same length. What do you need to do? You need to arrange them in a form of a matrix. Let's assume they are arranged in a form of a matrix and you need to iterate them in a column wise fashion and check whether each column happens to be lexographically sorted or not. If that column is not lexographically sorted, then you need to delete that column up and in the end we need to finally return how many columns do we need to delete. For example, here uh, if I iterate from A, B, C, you can see that this is in lexographically sorted order A, B and C. So this is a happy case. The next column that we have is the B, C, A. This is not in lexographical order. That means we need to delete this up. The last column that we have is C, E, E. As you can see, C is lower in value than E. That means we are sorted. Again, we have E, E. So E is equal to E. Again, that means we are lexicographically sorted. Overall, we can f finalize that the third column that we have happens to be lexicographically sorted. So overall, how many elements were you able to identify, how many columns were you able to identify that were lexographically unsorted? There was only one such column and as a result of which the answer becomes one. To conclude it up, let's quickly walk through the presentation section. And so I have taken a very simple example, the same one that was specified in the question. So there are three columns. If you arrange them in a form of a matrix, then there are three columns. The first row will have A, B, C. The second one will have B, C, E. The third one will have A, C, E. And what we are going to do, we need to iterate in column wise fashion. So the first column is this. The second column is this. The third column is this. And lexographical sorted is a really simple way to check. You check the sky value. If this value happens to be greater than this value, then you say that it is lexicographically unsorted. Otherwise, you keep on progressing ahead. So we'll take two pointers. The first one would be I for the row count. The other one would be J for the column count that we usually do. And uh, for J equals to zero, we will be iterating over the three rows that we have. So the, in the first iteration, we'll compare I with the previous row. So if this, if I starts from one, the previous row will have be the zeroth one. So I minus one would be zero. So let's compare these two up. And since B is greater in value than A, that means we are, it's a happy case. We are basically comparing str of I minus one at the Jth index with str of I comma Jth index. If the previous value happens to be greater then the current value that means it is lexicographically unsorted in nature and we will be creating a global variable we will say that is whenever such a condition is met that corresponding column is lexicographically unsorted and we will increment the pointer the counter so we can say delete count kind of a variable we can keep this by default it is inch raised to zero so whether this condition is met or not over here, also remember guys, we are starting I from one going up till the last. Uh, is this condition met over here? No, this is not met. This is a happy case. Let's proceed ahead. Now I will be incremented to this place. I minus one would be one. Uh, C is greater than B. Again, it's a happy case. We have iterated over the entire zeroth column. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have B and here we have C. This is again a happy case. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have A over here and C over here. As you can see, the value at str of i minus one j is greater than the value of str of i comma j. C is greater than A. This is, that means it is lexicographically unsorted. What we are gonna do, we'll increment the delete count variable to one. That means we have identified one such column that is lexicographically unsorted in nature and we'll abort the iteration, further iteration across this column. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have is C. 
सी एंड ई ओवर हियर इट इज एक्सोग्राफिकली सॉर्टेड अगेन फॉर द नेक्स्ट आइट्रेशन दिस इज अगेन एक्सोग्राफिकली सॉर्टेड दिस कंडीशन इज नॉट मेट सो ओवरऑल हाउ मेनी कॉलम्स आर यू एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई देर वर वन सच कॉलम एंड दिस इज इन सिंक विद आर एक्सपेक्टेशन दिस विल बी वॉक थ्रू द कोडिंग सेक्शन एंड इंक्लूड इट अप एंड एक्जैक्टली फॉर द सेम स्टेप्स एज आई जस्ट टॉक्ट ओवर हियर I have created a delete count variable. I started iterating using the two pointers i and j. This is the same condition that I talked about in the presentation. If this condition is met, we increment the delete count variable. We break further iteration across that column, and once we are out of this loop, we simply re return the delete count variable. Let's try and submit this up. Accepted. The time complexity of this approach would be order of n into m where n signifies the number of rows and uh, m signifies the number of columns uh, and space complexity is constant time i hope you guys have really enjoyed it if you did it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel your subscription truly means a lot and i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye